All right, just got the fish in from uh, Dave's Rare Fish. Uh, cracked open the box. I mean, it's not really a big deal as far as you know opening it. So uh, had a couple people guessing in my last one uh, what I was getting. Uh, the only one that really came close, like I'll give Adam C a little credit. Um, he said a common hap, um, and I did get that. I you see the I actually got four bags here, but there's three of one fish. I'm going to show you that here in a second. Um, basically, what I was looking to do, and you guys have heard me talk about breeding fish and you know getting some of the predator haps. Well, the more research I've done on this, the more uh, I just didn't feel comfortable putting them in a 75 to breed them. I thought the 125 would be a better fit. However, uh, my 125 is currently full, and I have no way of really getting rid of any of the fish, nor do I really kind of want to. So, um, decided to kind of postpone the predator hap breeding, and I'm just going to go with a common hap. Um, no, I'm not doing this for money or anything. Just kind of a more of a challenge. Haven't done anything like this, so you know, I did have the baby fish uh, way back when. That was a complete accident. Uh, bought a fish at my local fish store that was supposed to be a male, turned out to be female, I didn't realize it, and the next thing I know I had babies, but anyway, um, so this is what I've got, um, my 75 gallon, you see, I posted a picture on Facebook last night, um, fortunately he was hiding, but uh, it's a Mylochromus uh, Ericanea, he's uh, been pulled out, I got the peacock bass in there too, uh, I really just don't have another spot for him, so he's going to stay, at least for the time being, and then, then what I've got were three Mylochromus females. So I'm going to try to uh, breed uh, some of these Mylochromus females. See how they do. Uh, like I say uh, all three of them are nice size, about four inch. Tuck them all in here. So uh, we'll see how that little breeding group does. Now on the other tank. Uh, Sorry about the glare. Down here in the side of the basement, I have basically have my basement split off into two. Um, this one side here has all the the glare from the window. The other side doesn't. Um, but anyway, that's going to be the 75. Now the fish I got here, um, I was actually been researching these guys for a long time. I was going to buy them probably a little bit over a year ago now. I've seen them, ran across them, you know, really wanted to get them. Just didn't have a tank for them, and I seen that they do better in, in their own, uh, like a species-only tank. So back in uh, late September, when I got, uh, you know, this tank right here, um, my 180, uh, these guys were going to go in it. Unfortunately, I didn't have uh, access to them. Nobody had them for sale at that time. Uh, ended up going obviously with the peacock bass set up, which I'm still happy with that. I mean, that's uh, no loss there, but. Um, Get to it. These are yeah, about an inch and a half, two inch. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be hard to see them. I'll show you in a minute. They are the Paratropolis uh, Menorambo. It's a Madagascar cichlid. Um, Pinstripe Damba is the common name. Um, but they're pretty, a pretty amazing fish. If you guys haven't seen them, uh, you know, I suggest you kind of look them up. They're uh, about the closest thing I've seen to like a saltwater, like a tang. Um, so I'm pretty excited about getting these guys going. And uh, we'll let them acclimate and uh, show them in the actual tank. Alright, the females have been in the tank for about a half hour now. Um, you see the male, I wish I'd have done it before and after because he's uh, his colors just exploded. Um, his fins have been uh, just as you see it it's completely fanned out um, so I'm sure he's pretty excited um, so much activity you kind of see uh, if I go over here these guys are all right at the glass uh, just watching what's going on um, but yeah it's so far so good I think this is gonna work out like I said just to see him looking this good is uh, you know pretty exciting for me so let's head over to the uh, other 75 and See how those guys are settling in. These guys are all looking pretty good. I uh, kind of expected, uh, you know, they're all in the kind of like the back corner. Um, it's really kind of hard for me to get a, a good picture on them. Um, nice looking fish though. Uh, they're going to be slow growers, but uh, eventually they will be approximately the size of my peer's eye, which is 
this guy right here. So I mean a good 10 inch, uh, you know, wide bodied fish. So they're going to be pretty nice when they get a little bit bigger. Like I said, they're going to be in the 180 probably here in the next few months once I can get some things uh, squared away. Sorry, I'm trying to get a better view of them for you, but like I said, they're kind of in the back corner where I can't really angle myself in there. Uh, and maybe they're a little bit, you see the glare off me, but really excited about these guys. Uh, like I said, I've been looking at these for about a year now. I've finally been able to get a hold of them. Finally uh, had the right situation to get them, so. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, they're just stupid fish videos. Take care, everybody.